Mark 9, 23. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. I'm a trillionaire. I sing like Frank Sinatra. I have blonde hair. I'm a carrot. Wait, what? That's, that's right, you heard me. I'm all those things. Can't you see that? By now you might be reaching for the phone to call someone to send the men in white coats to take me off to be evaluated. For certainly, none of these statements are true. But I said they are. If I say them enough, believe they are so, won't they be truths? While people today struggle with what is real and what is not, the follower of Jesus has promises from the Bible about what happens to our sins when we repent, confess, and dedicate our lives to Him. Interestingly, while there are those who believe they can manifest anything they say into existence, there are multitudes who don't believe they've been forgiven by God. For some reason, they believe Jesus has them on some sort of uh, probation, waiting to see if they're sincere about turning from their sin to eternal life. The Bible, however, tells a different story. Looking at many of the miraculous healings in the gospel, we find Jesus often saying, your sins are forgiven, go and sin no more. For example, in the story of the paralyzed man in Matthew 9, Jesus tells the man to get up, take his bed, and go home. Now this man could have vehemently complained and said, look, at these legs, Jesus, can't you see they're still withered from my paralysis? Heal my legs and I'll do as you say. No, this man believed the word of Jesus, stood up on legs that transformed into healthy, robust limbs, took his bedroll and started for home. The same is true regarding our need to have faith and accept the word of God at face value when he says, though your sins are like scarlet, he makes us as white as snow. His love is so great that he takes our sins and casts them into the deep abyss of the sea. He takes our heart of stone when we give it to him and gives us a heart of flesh, a heart he can write his character onto. When you and I fail to believe this, we only do ourselves harm because we allow Satan to keep us as prisoners of sin. If God said, believe it, because his promises are true, then we need to listen to what God has said. Would you like to learn more about having the faith and acceptance necessary to know your sins are forgiven and how to follow Jesus? Then click in the link in the description below to receive a free book, Steps to Christ. Until next week, Maranatha.